Hello everyone, this is Bear Ruiz. I'm going to show you how you can use SAML Tracer for troubleshooting and capturing logs uh, for SAML applications. So first of all, what I need is to install SAML Tracer extension um, for my browser. So in this case, I'm using Firefox. So I'm going to install uh, the, the extension for uh, SAML Tracer on my Firefox browser. Click on it, add it to Firefox, add, and I should have it here now. This is the logo that you probably will have on your toolbar. Now, this is Firefox. I mean, this is SAML Tracer, right? So uh, I go back to my Octa tenant or any identity provider, research the page. Now, let's say I have some problems with Salesforce application. I cannot log in. I, I don't know. I have any problems with this SAML application. What I can do is to run SAML Tracer. By default, it's blank, of course, because there is no log. Now, while it's running, I'm going to click on Salesforce. Click on it, and now it starts capturing the logs. The one that I want to check is the one with SAML, right? Let's say I have some problems with Salesforce. Well, I don't, but yeah, let's say I have, right? So I click on SAML, and then I click on SAML again. Here I can see, for example, issuer. I can see the certificates. I can see username that is being sent to application and all the information that might help me in troubleshooting. And it's not just for Salesforce. So we have, let's say, I don't know, different applications uh, like G Suite, like uh, Org to Org, which is with SAML ServiceNow. We can use it for any other application. So if you have different logs here, you can click on clear so it would be cleared. <clears throat> and now, uh, let's say for ServiceNow. I'm sure it's not working for me right now because I haven't used it for a while. But let's see what are the logs that we receive for ServiceNow. So I have SAML Tracer open and running. I click on ServiceNow, go to SAML Tracer again. I can see the logs that we're sending to ServiceNow. So uh, I, I want to check the one with SAML. So I click on SAML. I click on SAML again, and here are the logs that are being sent to ServiceNow. Again, certification or certificate. Uh, I have the assertion, I mean the issuer. I have signature. I have the username. Here is the um, URL or instance that I had on ServiceNow, which is not working anymore because it's expired and all um, helpful information. Uh, let's go with a different application like advanced server. Again, I'm gonna clear it again here so it can be cleared and easier to find specific logs or required logs. Now, since it's cleared, I'm gonna click on this application advanced server and here are the logs. I mean, all the logs might be helpful, but the one that I'm talking about right now and the one that I'm going to check is the SAML one. So um, the, here are some other helpful information that are being sent to the application as well. First name, last name, email, login. These are based on uh, SAML assertion. So I click on SAML and here are the logs that I like to check so for example let's say this application requires a different certificate or different username right so we can compare it see okay what the application expects on the application side and we can compare it with what we are sending from okta to application again this is not specific to okta this is for any sp and any identity provider or IDP that are working with SAML. 
you can use it for capturing any SAML logs and any application <clears throat> that has problems uh, or not even problems. Maybe, I don't know, you need to check some specific logs to see what's going on with some SAML applications. So you can use this beautiful, helpful extension on your browser to capture the logs. I hope that helped. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a mail or send me a message on Slack. Thank you.